Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Amongst Outs. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a homeschooling stay-at-home mom of four kiddos. And in today's video, I have more packing and getting things done with me. Um, so it's Saturday, um, just a couple days before we need to be out of this house and before we close on the sale of this house. So we are in overdrive trying to get everything done. Um, so I just wanted to walk around and show you guys what we have done so far and um, bring you guys along as we do a little bit more loading and things like that. We actually have some guys here um, who are taking away all of our like large trash and junk. Um, sometimes it's just easier to call other people to do it for you than it is to like load things up on your own and trash them a little bit at a time, um, especially since we don't have a truck. So those guys are here right now taking care of the junk, but I'll walk around the house really quickly and show you guys what we've got going on. So we have emptied out all of the boxes from our room. It's still a mess. My husband still needs to pack up his clothes. Um, don't mind the dirty clothes there, but we are mostly packed here. Just a few things to finish. Uh, the closet's all, the closet is all done. And then I'm um, gone, gone. Our couches are gone. We donated those. Um, same with the table and chairs that were in this area. We kept our dining room set from over there. Um, but we have some boxes left to finish here, getting packed up. Lots of food up there, we're trying to figure out if we're gonna keep it, donate it, what we're gonna do with it. Um, I'll show you what it's looking like in the backyard. We do need to get the pool. We do need to clean the pool um, one last time. Got to take care of those deck boxes, but we already moved the chairs and patio furniture cushions to the garage. Sold the grill. Uh, we plan on getting a new grill, so we went ahead and sold that. One that we had. Uh, huge mess in here, but I'm pretty good. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I know you for sure saw this room was completely filled with boxes. We got most of those out yesterday, so um, everything from downstairs except for from upstairs except for the desk and the white couches are gone as well. So just going to um, bring you guys along this day. Um, my kiddos, my two big kiddos, went to go hang out with a friend of ours um, from CC, and the little ones went with my husband, and they'll be back soon. Okay. Um, my husband, like I've mentioned, he left to take the kids, so I had to pay the um, junk removal guys. But I'm going to go ahead and go outside and show you guys what our garage is looking like and the container that we have already packed so far. Um, this is, and you guys, that great look earlier, but here is the rest of that um, dining room. So we still have quite a bit of stuff to get out. Um, I have a friend coming to pick up the treadmill. Still have stuff in here that we need to get out. I'm possibly going to, and things like that. So let's go ahead and head down. Um, there's the kids' backpacks and stuff. But um, there, you probably can't see it all, but there is all the stuff that we have um, from inside out here so far to put in the container. Um, and then that's our Christmas stuff and scooters over there. This whole um, shelf here was filled with... Um, plastic containers and we got those off last night and got them packed up and um, those are just my husband's um, like some tool stuff and then his batteries for like his lawnmower and his weed eater um, which are over there but so the junk guys came this was this whole side here was filled with junk and um, they came and got it so we need to clean that up um, but yeah, it's really exciting. I'm so glad that they were able to come and get all that junk. So this is the empty container that we still have. And then um, this is one that we have already um, just about filled up. I'll show you guys from back here. Um, so that's the one that we already have mostly filled up. So just got a few more. A little bit more space to fill that up and then this is going to be saved for our appliances um our refrigerator washer dryer mattresses um, beds things like that table so and all the rest of 
these like chairs and things as well. So I'm going to find a place to set you guys up and I'm just gonna get to work. Oh, before I do that, I want to show you guys. My husband just picked this up the other day and it's been amazing already. And um, this is a, what is it called? A power washer. He got it from Lowe's, I think. It's Greenworks Pro, um, but our jogging stroller over here was so disgusting. It was like covered in, I don't, I don't know what, but um, he got it all off, and so now I need to move it back to the sun. I moved it out of the way for the hunt for the. Um, I had moved it out of the way for the junk guys, but now I need to put it back in the sun because you know the sun's like a natural bleach. But we got all of this gunk that was on there with the power washer, um, and we're gonna power wash the patio um, in the backyard. And this is just like, my husband cut this space here so that we could have storage. Um, so this is just stuff that we're leaving. Paint that goes with the house, the oil for the door, oil for the oil for the front door because it's wood. Um, this is like a spray oil for the garage doors if they get hard to open and shut. And we had planned on finishing off our garage floor. So that's what that box there. It's like an epoxy um, floor coating kit, but we never got to it. So we're going to just leave that for the new homeowner. Maybe they'll want to use it, not sure, um, but they have it if they do. And yeah, that's everything. So it's really awesome to see this garage kind of cleaned out. I wish it was like this while we were living here. <laughs> so back to work inside. Um, the food is going to go in my husband's car um, so that we can either go donate it or um, take it to the Airbnb on Monday. We're only keeping things that are non-perishable. So we are also, I need to clean out the um, deep freezer. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and also get laundry out of there. So I think I will go ahead and work on that. out um we like to have we like to always make sure that we have bread and bagels and waffles and things like that on hand for the kids um so that they always have something really easy to grab and to eat and to make for breakfast or lunch um unfortunately we didn't get to all of that before moving day came but thankfully it's they're just bread products so I just stuck those in a cooler bag. Um, they will thaw out and the kids can eat on it for the next couple weeks. Um, which, you know, that still comes in handy. It makes it to where we don't have to go out and buy groceries because we have a lot of non-perishables that we can keep. We have the bread. Um, I do have some freezer meals in uh, that freezer. So I'm not gonna do anything with the freezer meals or the meat or anything like that right now. Um, for that stuff, I'll wait until Monday. That's never we're able to check into our Airbnb and then we'll just move that stuff from, um, not all of it because that's a really big freezer, but we'll move that stuff from the freezer here to the freezer at the Airbnb and then I'll have, um, a friend or someone, um, come pick up the other stuff that's like not open or that we don't get to like meats and chicken nuggets and things like that that have not been opened. So... For right now, um, this thing, I went ahead and turned it off so it can thaw out. Um, I'm pretty sure the guys that are loading up our furniture and appliances tomorrow aren't going to want to move this around with it being um, wet or anything like that. So this can thaw out for the rest of today and then I can get it dried, um, cleaned out and dried up tomorrow with a towel. 
before they come to load it onto um, one of those pod container things. So that's all I'm going to do with this stuff. Um, I'm going to worry about that basket of um, laundry probably tomorrow. Uh, we need to do laundry probably one more time um, before we're out of this house. So I'll probably do that tomorrow night and have everyone packed up Monday morning. And so for right now, nobody is back yet. It's just still me here. So um, I think what I'm going to do is pick up all of those toys that my little guy um, took out of some of the boxes before they got packed up. I'm going to repack those so that he doesn't get back um, to them and then probably get a couple um, of these boxes here and back there back there um, finish loading up those boxes and get those loaded onto the pod so let's go ahead and get back to work It's actually been quite a few hours um, since I last filmed us doing anything. Um, I kind of just really got into it. My daughter was walking around with a camera at first because she wanted to film me. Um, and then she decided to start playing and then I never set the camera back up. But before I end this video, I want to show you guys. I can't show you the container that I was filling because my husband already closed it and locked it up, but it is Field from top to bottom, front to back. I um, we loaded as much as we possibly could into that thing, and so now um, all we have left is the rest of our like bookshelves, mattresses, um, our refrigerator, washer dryer, deep freezer, um, and then like pillows, bedding, desks. So basically furniture, which we're having loaders come over tomorrow, and they're gonna get that done. Um, we might, my husband went and took one more last, um, donation run. And so whatever doesn't fit, I'm, I'm not tied down to anything. Just a couple of things that absolutely are must haves that we have to take, but whatever doesn't fit, if anything ends up not fitting, we'll make one last, um, donation run. So I just want to show you guys the progress that, um, I ended up with. It's almost seven o'clock. I need to get some dinner going. Um, we just have some barbecue chicken, um, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes um, for dinner tonight. Just super simple, easy microwave food. Um, so let me show you guys the progress that I've made. I'll show you here inside the house um, with the kitchen, the food, the boxes, the dining area, and then the garage. So let me turn the camera around and show you guys. Okay, so if you guys can see, this is what we ended up doing with the food. Everything is packed into these bins slash crates. And then we have bags over here. Um, these two bags here, we have uh, one from Trader Joe's, one from Aldi. Um, those have things like pasta, pasta sauces, um, things that I can easily make in Airbnb. And then here we have bread, 
This is just some like tea, brown rice, and rotel. We don't want to get rid of the rotel, so we just have it in there. And then we have more canned goods, oils, things like that. Things that um, can probably just hang out in my husband's car. So that's all emptied out. And then ah, the island and this whole area is cleaned up. So really excited about that. Um, these are some last minute dishes that I need to get packed up in a box. These are cleaning supplies that are just gonna hang out in here until we're done and then we'll pack that up properly. Um, kids Halloween candy, I just combined it all, put it in that box. Uh, back here um, are, is our um, Instant Pot. We have the Instant Pot Splash Air Fryer. So we're keeping that out, we're taking that with us. Um, so that we can make meals really easily with not a whole lot of cleanup and I'll show you guys um, this is what we are having for dinner so just these um, this pulled pork Bob Evans mashed potatoes mac and cheese and then um, here's some sweet Hawaiian slider buns um, we're gonna keep this out since we washed um, this we've been using for like soups or whatever for lunch trash bags and that's how that's looking. And then you can see in here, it's mostly completely cleaned out. This room, let me turn on the light. This room um, was completely filled with boxes. And there's my bread maker there, just a couple of knickknack things. Um, so this is one of the bookshelves from upstairs. There's two more up there. High chair may or may not go with us. Um, that's something that can easily be donated just because my son doesn't use it anymore and who knows if there's going to be another baby at some point. Um, so I actually think I'm gonna have my husband donate that. That's our dining room table and this cabinet is definitely going with us. So that's my son's desk. The legs are already packed up so that's going with us. Um, I love this laptop desk so, and it's super small. If I have to throw it in my car in order to keep it, I'll keep it. These are the drawers that go inside my kids' uh, desks and our globe. I need to pack that up. Um, my son's fishing pole and his golf clubs, definitely taking those. Um, I actually, you're probably going to be donating this vacuum. I just have to get it cleaned out. And then over here, that gate has to come down. And I'll go out and show you guys the garage. Um, it's gonna be super ugly, but we had a shoe cabinet here that's gone. And then all of the, like, that's all emptied out. And then, like I said, they came and picked up all of the junk that we had along here. So that's all gone. And then we got um, everything else that you guys would have seen in here earlier. We got all of that put into the second container. So it's not in there organized. Um, but it is in there because we wanted to clean the floors to the garage. So we got that taken care of. And that's everything that we did. You guys would have seen that we took care of some of the stuff in the backyard. Um, my husband, I was like just going to give away the grill. <laughs> and he did not want to do that because um, he had a Traeger. Um, and so he posted it in our neighborhood, um, on our neighborhood webpage or on our neighborhood Facebook page. I don't have Facebook, so anytime we sell anything on there, he does it. But he posted that on there and was able to sell it. So that was awesome because sometimes it's nice to make a little bit of extra money, especially when you were going to just give it away anyway. <laughs> so we got rid of the grill. Um, yeah, so most everything is done that we can do. Just waiting tomorrow for the loaders to come. They will get our second container packed up. Anything that doesn't fit, again, we'll take to Goodwill. Um, finish loading up our cars with the stuff. I'll show you guys. Um, probably not in this video. I'll probably do another, like, one more um, vlog. And I'll show you guys, like, what my traveling homeschool trunk looks like. Because I already have everything um, in there. And then, yeah, we um, are going to have... A service come out and clean the house on Monday and then that's also our last trash day so whatever trash we have left we'll load up and go take care of that but hopefully everything will fit in our trash bins that's all that I have for you guys so 
I hope that you guys have enjoyed this packing, moving, cleaning, kind of getting things done with me vlog today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to have you here as a part of my community and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.